morning. Today is uh, Saturday, March 25th, and uh, yesterday I had an interesting uh, experience. Uh, my first time at a wine festival. Wine festival. It's called uh, Grape Grape Escape, and it was taking place at the BMO Center downtown. And the dates are uh, yesterday, uh, March 24th, and today. March 25th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. and um, what I liked uh, about the their marketing is that they said they're gonna be 125 vendors and not just wine but beer and spirits and it's an annual annual festival so lots of people were expected and the organizer is a co-op wine spirits beer and so when I try to get a ticket for Saturday, for today, it's uh, sold out. So Friday was available, tickets were 65 bucks. And uh, I, took an, I took an Uber. Uber cost me uh, $35, all can eat, $35. And I, I watched a video online uh, just to see how people dress, you know, because I didn't want to check in my clothes because then it might be a nightmare to get out of there and so I came in my leather jacket and just you know a t-shirt because it was pretty warm and I just decided I'll be walking around in my uh, leather jacket because I saw on the video for the previous year that I saw some people were actually wearing like thin jackets but if you're going today or next year or whatever uh, in terms of clothes yeah it might be a bit warm and so you can check in your clothes at, uh, over there. Um, but I, it's just a bit, I think it's more convenient if you have a, uh, some light jacket, you know, light jacket, because now the weather is good. Uh, this festival, again, March, right? So it's not too cold. And, uh, and the tickets, when you buy online, they send you a digital ticket. And just in case I printed it out, so I brought it on a piece of paper. And once you enter there, like there's an attendant showing you where to go, he says, okay, uh, check and close this way, uh, entrance to the actual venue this way. And you go in, there's a bunch of people with uh, uh, cell phones, like, you know, attendants, and they just, most people had their digital tickets on the cell phone, so they just scanned that code and I had the code on my piece of paper, I showed them the code, they scanned it, and then they stamp, I still have a blue, you know, light image here, so they just stamp your hand in case you want to get out, go to the bathrooms, just like, you know, typical stuff, and the first impressions were that I did not expect there would be so many people, and I did not expect that there would be so many pretty women, like guys were dressed up you know, like regular stuff, you know, jeans, t-shirts, but women, man, like, you know, high boots, high heels, short skirts. It was, uh, it was interesting. It was like a fashion, fashion event, you know, amazing. And uh, uh, another thing that I learned is that you need to have a glass. So if you go in today, March 25th, make sure when you enter, you ask the attendant where the empty glasses because uh, what happened to me is that I was walking around for five ten minutes I couldn't decide which wine I want to try and I do I went there specifically for wine because I like red wine and finally I found uh, the wine from France that I know and like it's called fat bastard and I said okay can I try this one and she says uh, where is your glass and I said what like and she, they had plastic glasses plastic cups but I see everybody else like other attendees are walking around with regular wine glasses like with a very narrow top like a champagne glass not very comfortable to drink from because it hits your nose you know? and I so I had to go back uh, because it turns out the glasses were right at the entrance so just when you enter there's a table with a bunch of glasses, empty glasses, and so 
took me like 10 minutes to, to find out where it was because I, nobody told me that it was at the entrance. So anyway, finally I found a glass. So that was the disappointing uh, experience okay. of this. And then, um, then I started looking for the fat bastard guys, right? Because again, 125 vendors, right? Wine, beer, liquor. And uh, so many people, like you will see on, uh, I, I, I showed a, a short undercover video. Uh, you will see, uh, it doesn't show too many people, but then later, like half an hour later, it was like, you know, crowds, just crowds. You cannot walk. You have to constantly say, excuse me, excuse me, you know, pardon me, you know, can I pass? And, and so finally I found that fat bastard stand. So that was my fast first, uh, tasting of the night and another experience is that the in the glass they give you like i don't know maybe 25 milliliters you know maybe one ounce of wine and that glass like i said has a very narrow top so you try to drink it because it's at the very bottom but <laughs> it's it's just ridiculous so i only stayed there maybe an hour because uh I tried maybe five different wines. And so if I had one glass in total, and it's a very small glass, maybe 150 milliliters. That's all I had during the evening. But what's cool is that they have uh, free snacks. So I had a hot dog, like super nice, some kind of a pork, not just regular hot dog, but like very thick on a small round bun, you know? It was delicious then they they were uh, offering uh, cups with uh, pieces of cheese like three types of cheeses inside you know and that's of course cheese is perfect when you taste wine and also there was pizza you know basically it's all included all the tasting and all the snacks are included in the 65 dollars canadian for the ticket so it was huge yesterday on friday uh, uh, March 24th, so it should be even bigger today on March 25th. And um, I, I tried uh, so that fat bastard from France. I tried some wine from uh, North Africa. Uh, then I, I was surprised to see some wine from Ukraine. You know where I grew up in Ukraine, so I definitely tasted that like a nice red wine. And then I had one from uh, Italy. I think uh, another one was from uh, California, of course, which is famous for its wines. I don't like Canadian wine. I just prefer uh, Australia or France uh, or California. So I called an Uber. Uh, the way back it was, uh, for some reason, cheaper, $31. And I, when I was plotting the route, I said, stop one liquor store uh, near my house my apartment building and so I went in and I bought a bottle of that fat bastard so that's how I ended the night with a fat bastard wine and watching uh, Netflix which is that I just resubscribed to Netflix so now I'm watching both uh, Amazon Prime and Netflix and that fat bastard was a joy you know so thanks for watching so of course the first picture was a truck, you know, a former trucker, you always find a truck at all events. So this was some cute pickup truck and you see lots of people in the background there. Uh, so this is the festival. And I was really surprised at the quality of pictures coming out of my Nikon Z50. And lots of people were uh, posing in front of this little pickup truck here and asking strangers to take their photos. And this is the first wine I tried, Fat Bastard. This uh, gentleman, he was the vendor. Uh, I said, can I take your picture? He was happy to oblige. So uh, the Fat Bastard wine from France, they have this uh, uh, hippop uh, hippopotamus is their uh, logo. And here is, that's what happens, like tables uh, filled with wine and vendor on the right, a girl. Uh, and so customers come and just with their own glasses, and you can taste uh, any wine on the table. And snacks were free. So here's, you see a guy preparing some hot dogs, I think. Um, there was hot dogs, like I mentioned, pizza, cheese. It was pretty good. 
Uh, here's the Ukrainian wine stand. I definitely had to try this one because you don't see wine from Ukraine in our liquor stores. At least I never saw it. It was pretty good. And I was happy to see like on the label it was words in Ukrainian. And here's again, uh, I believe you guys making some snacks over there as uh, uh, at the at &D is looking, uh, looking by. And they also had some, I think you had to pay extra for this. There was like a tasting class. And this guy in the front, in the background there, he showed he's holding up some uh, glass. So he's telling people, you know, how to tell the difference between different wines, stuff like that. I did not go. And uh, they had lots of beer over there. This is Pilsner. As you can see, it says at the same location from like 19th century. So uh, all in all, it was an interesting experience. Yeah, and these are the glasses. This is the table with uh, empty glasses that I, I missed when I was coming in. And without the glass, they, they would, will not pour you wine. So make sure you get an empty glass when entering.